So in this video, we're going to talk about polynomial functions. Functions of the form p of x is equal to n x to the power of n plus n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus plus a1x plus a0 are called polynomial functions. Any function in this standard form is uh, a polynomial function. So here n must be from the state of non-negative integers and all the coefficients must be from the state of ordinal numbers. And a is different from zero. A should be different from zero. So a function of in this form is called a polynomial function in variable x of degree n. You can you can find uh, functions like in, in different forms and then if you can write those functions in the standard form of any uh, polynomial function of this form, you can consider them as polynomial functions. So here you sh there are basic terms that you have to know within any uh, given polynomial function. Uh, considering putting the given polynomial function uh, in a standard form, so uh, here a n x to the power of n, a n x to the power of n is the leading term, and a n is the leading coefficient, n is the degree of the polynomial, and a naught is uh, the constant term. And a n, a n minus 1, a 1, a naught are uh, the coefficients of uh, the polynomial functions. These are the base terms that you, sh you, should, you should understand from uh, any polynomial function. So, n, n minus 1, uh, up to n, n what are called the coefficients of the polynomial. The number n is called the leading coefficient. n x to the power of n is the leading term. n what is uh, the constant term. And n is uh, degree of the polynomial. Degree of the polynomial. So, uh, when, you, when you work on polynomial functions, we, uh, you always consider number from uh, set of uh, real numbers, numbers from set of real numbers. So the function is always valid. You can consider any arbitrary number as value of x, for, and then the, the function is always uh, defined. So you can conclude that, you can generalize that the domain of uh, every polynomial function is the set of all real numbers. Here we do have uh, uh, some illustrative examples, and uh, we are asked to uh, determine whether the given expressions are polynomial functions or not. So let's, let's see uh, each of them. The first one, f of x is uh, uh, given by 2 over 3x to the power of 4 minus 12 x squared plus x plus 7 over x, 7 over 8. This is a, a polynomial function. It's in the standard form of a polynomial function and uh, its leading term is 2 over 3x to the power of 4 its leading coefficient is 2 over 3, its constant term is uh, 7 over 8, and the degree of the polynomial is 4. By the way, degree of the polynomial is uh, uh, the, the highest exponent. The highest exponent. You do have terms, you do have terms here, uh, like 4 terms, but the term with the highest exponent is the leading term, and the highest exponent is degree of the polynomial. So, the coefficient of the term with the highest exponent is taken to be the leading coefficient of uh, the, the polynomial function. And the second one is f of x equal to x over x. This is not uh, a polynomial function because uh, the domain of uh, the function is, is uh, not set of real numbers. So, since the function is uh, undefined when, when x is 0, then uh, the function is not uh, a polynomial function. And the other one is uh, f of x equal to square root of uh, x plus 1, the whole square. This can be simplified as uh, absolute value of x plus 1, and this is not a polynomial. Actually, uh, here the domain of uh, the function is set of ordinal numbers, but uh, we can't write this one in the standard form of uh, the polynomial function. So, it's not a polynomial function again. d f of x equal to 2x, uh, the power of minus 4 plus x squared plus 8x plus 1. We have said that the exponents must be from the set of non-negative integers, but here we do have minus 4. Minus 4 is not an element of uh, the set of non-negative integers, so the function is not a polynomial function. The last one is k of x equal to x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1. Uh, but this is a polynomial function. The, it's the dominant set of ordinal numbers, 
and, and we can we can put in the standard form of any polynomial function just simplifying the given expressions so uh, it's equal with uh, k of x equal to 1 and then uh, this is a polynomial function and now you can describe how the lower case of functions are polynomial functions those are linear functions, quadratic functions, constant functions, and zero functions. Linear function is a polynomial function of degree 1, and quadratic function is a polynomial function of degree 2, and constant functions are polynomial functions of degree 0, and zero functions are polynomial functions, and they are not assigned as a degree at this level, but they are polynomial functions. This is enough for today. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lesson.